Hello to you, my fellow dark ones. How are you guys doing today? How's life? Welcome to another episode of FTB Genesis where I'm trying to attend my crops. I just wanted to remind you that you should never buy crops from a person who's wearing a hazmat suit. It's actually not a very good sign. Basically, what we are trying to achieve here is to get some tea. I have also made some empty cells. I filled them in with water and, well, essentially they are water buckets, but they do stack. And as a result, we can have some cold green tea. Gives you a decent saturation. And I'm trying to improve the stats because it takes ages to grow. However, the reason that we are doing all of this is that I want to go on a very small adventure because we're in need of redstone. My redstone crops are not growing fast enough and well, I need 36 pieces. Oh, we have four here. And yeah, basically we are going to go to the lost cities. How much redstone do we have? 22. That's not bad. Oh, and by the way, we got gold seeds. And this is called stanum, but I think it's silver or maybe tin. This is malachite, it should be copper. And I'm not really sure if they're going to fully grow. Because they do need to have some sort of an ore underneath and well, they're still growing. But we will see. This is my tea and it does have a better stat, so you come with me. Oh, we got two. Moving on, we have tea, we have melon juice, we have bread, we have plenty of torches. And I have also made a brand new hazmat suit. The other one was breaking and since we're going outside, it's good to have some sort of an armor. Because I think if it breaks, I'm gonna die. Oh, it's night time. We sleep. Oh, I left some here. In the recent version of Minecraft, you can't really break the rails using a water bucket. I tried. Also, for this purpose, maybe we should not use our netherite pick. We don't have mending yet. Okay, I'm finally back at the base, and this is all the rails that we got. That's a lot. That gives us 21 redstone, which is good, and 160 iron. Well, also, it seems that drones have new capabilities. Uh, they can teleport. Okay, we have our redstone. That's good. That gives us a total of 43, which is not amazing, but we are going to need 36 of it. My crops are garbage. Gives you one. So why did we need this? Well, we are going to make something called a nature seed, correct? This is not a horrible recipe. The horrible recipe is this part. The fragile cloud needs a glowing dust, needs a dubious dust, and voila. We need four of these. I just ordered four pickaxes. Why did you give me three? Oh, out of sticks. Give me one more. Thank you. Four blocks of redstone. We do have some blaze essence, which I did manage to get from piglins. We're going to convert that into blaze rods. No? Oh, it's like that. Fine. After a bunch of crafting, we did manage to get dubious dust. Here is the glowing dust. Yes, yes. I hope I did not mess it up. Yeah. Fragile cloud. The rest of this should be easy peasy. We already have everything. Oh, it's an advancement. What does it do? Oh, it gives you fall damage. Okay. Everything is in. I think the only thing that we were missing was resin. Yes. So give me my nature seed. So essentially, nature essence gives you all the crops that you need, correct? You can craft anything that you want. Sometimes you have to mix and match it with different essence, but you guys get the gist. But if you manage to get some mana and drop it into a mana pool, it also gives you mystical flower essence. Ah, and the mystical flower seed is disabled, so that is the only way that you would be able to get it. Oh, it's a tier 2 seed. Uh-oh, we, uh, <laughs> we need one of these. Uh, that's cheap. Anywho, minus the teeny tiny boo-boo that I just made, here is some Prudentium. I think if you go higher, the rates are going to be better, right? No, it's probably going to be expensive because we need another infusion crystal. We just make Prudentium. So hopefully, yeah, it does work. Perfect. Now that we have our nature seed, let us try to get into Botania. We were awarded these, uh, the mystical white petals. I believe we should be able to dupe it a bit. You just plant the petal, you bone mill it, and you will get a tall mystical flower. I'm not really sure, but I think in the recent version, you don't actually need shears. Even though I have made it. No, you don't. You get the big one. I don't really know why you would need the extra petals, but I thought maybe we need two pure daisies. Yeah. First one. Oh, water. I forgot water. Yeah. The second one. I am assuming that the recipe for living rock and living wood has not been changed, so let us get some oak. I have oak on me. We get a bit more. Just a bit. And I guess just a bit of stone. That should give us a bit of living rock and living wood. Yeah, it's working. You get particles. As a quest reward, we're going to get floral fertilizer. Holy. That's good. Very fine. We have our living rock. Come on. You should convert as well. Oh boy. Things got weird. <laughs> so in this mod pack, we have elemental craft, but since there are no ores, you cannot get inert crystals. You have to buy it from the Amadron tablet thingy. We have two different types of tin ingot. Why? Okay. We use them. It doesn't really matter. All we wanted were cells. Is it morning or is it nighttime? No, the sun is rising. We're good. In order to get inert crystals, we need to trade oil. And well, we need to find a lot. Wait, you can't pick it up with cells. Uh -oh. Why can't you pick it up with cells? Well, we go with mechanism, I guess. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm back at the base and we have two full tanks of oil. 
So we shall select one of the tanks and we're going to order some of these. Inert crystals. We can have six. That's it. <laughs> sure, sure. I really want to kill you. <laughs> he took my oil. You're the nice guy. He brought the crystals. Aha. So I believe the first thing that we have to craft is going to be... Oh, what the hell? Oh, that was easy. Yeah, that one is like super easy. <laughs> Anyways, the first thing that we need is a diluted mana pool. Then we're going to upgrade it into an actual mana pool. Obviously, we are going to need a mana spreader. And yeah, you don't have a horrible recipe. What the hell is this? Why do you have weird recipes? <laughs> but it was not expensive. Luminator. And here is a mana spreader. Now we need to generate mana. And apparently in this mod pack, there is a cheaty way. Energizer up. We need to provide them with three mystical red petals, one green, and a battery. Not that battery. That one is expensive. Garbage one. Yes, exactly. This one. That was a task. Okay. The rest of them we should be able to... Oh, we can buy mana steel. Interesting. But the rest of them we should be able to buy from the shop. And yeah, I had to make an extra generator because for some reason the task screen doesn't really work with the combustion chamber. We're missing a task. Uh oh. I thought you can buy that, but you have to make the first one. So we do need this stupid fertilizer. And I absolutely have to get lucky. None of them are red. And none of them are green. Dude, not a single one. Well, that one is green. Green is good. Just in case you're wondering what the hell is happening is that, well, this quest is not working because we have to make the first flower ourselves. And the gist of it is I need to have a red flower. Shouldn't have made the purple one. I knew that. Anyways, the way that we make floral fertilizer is through elemental craft. So what we need to do is this. Small element container. It's really hard to craft something here. Can I have one more? Okay. We get the contained crystal. We need to have one element extractor. We need some pipes. We need a container. And we need one element infuser. Can I make this one? No. It's fine. I'm just missing iron nuggets. We have plenty of iron. I have some fertilizer on me. So don't you worry. We just have to go outside and try to find a node. Also, this happens a lot when I'm in the farming area. I get slowness and it doesn't go away. I don't really know why. Anywho, that's not very important. We're looking for those guys. That is an element and I think... Is it green? I think it's not green. It has to be green because we want the element of earth. I don't see any other nodes. Maybe that one was green. Oh, there is another one. This doesn't look green. Okay, it took me a while. We found one. This is green and this should be earth. This is the only one I found. We should be very careful not to destroy it. So what do we do? We put the container here. And yes, I'm aware that you're empty. Then we put the extractor like so. And yes, we're getting essence. I did check in my backpack. Yes, we have some fertilizer. Oh, you're full. That was fast. So now we will have the infuser and we can infuse some fertilizer. And as a result, we're going to get floral fertilizer. It does consume a bit and you just get four. Okay, obviously we would be able to make a bigger container, but that requires a lot of elemental craft. We can also move the node, but later. So I will get a few and I will see you back at the base. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm back at the base and we have 27 floral fertilizer. So if we don't get a red one, it's going to be really funny. I'm gonna rage quit. Seriously, oh my goodness, finally. Let's get the rest. I do have a feeling that this is slightly disproportionate. You know, there are too many blacks and too many pink, but it's fine. We just needed three red and we have it. So we shall submit and we have our flower. So I have never ever used this flower, but I think the way that it's working is that we need to provide it with power. Also, as a quest reward, we're going to get a floating white flower. So we shall mix it with our generating flower and voila. We can place it down anywhere we want. And just out of curiosity, let us see if it actually works. So coal goes in. Are you generating mana? No. I need a rod. No. You're connected, but you're not getting any mana. Let me read. It can draw from batteries, generators, and any FE containing source. Are you blind? What if we place you down like so? So the generator is not FE, but the connector is FE. Forge energy. Ah, ah, now it works. We cheated. And yes, we're getting mana. Amazing progress. Well, I purchased two more flowers and I'm not really sure how they work and I have not made Alexica Botania. I'm not sure if we can even craft it. Can we? Yeah, we can. But I have changed the LV wire connector with an HB1. This one has a bigger buffer. That one was 256 RF. This one is 4000. And well, mana generation is a bit better. It's not amazing. So what if we just break the connector and, you know, have some sort of a wire. Then have two connectors? No, it seems it doesn't make much of a difference. You know, I thought these red beams have to be constant. Well, they're not. Okay. But I'll be very honest with you. That is not a crazy amount of mana. But we should be able to get a mana diamond. And I guess have a runic altar. 
Why the hell not? That is the whole point of getting into Botania. We need more living wood. I just gathered some living rock, some living wood, and we're going to try and attempt to make the Sojourner Sash. I get this weird slowness effect which doesn't go away and I have to relog and I do get it back whenever I go inside this chamber. So if I get the Sojourner Sash and I can run faster, I'll be really happy. So let us not mess it up. We need the Rune of Earth, which easily we can, and we need the Rune of Air, which is missing one item. Why are you missing a feather? Well, I am glad that you're missing a feather. I don't have feathers. I think we should be able to buy them. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention, not that we have access to mana, we can make the seed enhancers. You see, if you get floral fertilizer, which we have, and drop it inside the mana pool, you will get the improved seed enhancer. I used it on the redstone, so now it's 15 by 15 by 15. And I'm going to literally do that with every single crop. There is one which is 25, 25, 25, but I think they're going to die. I lost some of my stick reed, I had to make new ones. And yes, for mana powder, any powder will do, including sugar. I actually made all the four basic runes because there is a quest which gives you four leather. I think they really wanted us to make the sash, so there you go. We shall wear it on the belt. Lovely. But now we do need to have a band of mana. Give me one tablet. That should be a quest or something. Yes. And we also get the band. Lovely. The sash is not going to work unless you have a bit of mana in your band of mana, so let's fill it in. Just a bit. That's enough. <laughs> So do we run faster? I guess, a bit. But we do have step assist. And we can jump a bit higher, two blocks. One of the perks of having access to Botania is that we should be able to start making a superfood. We need to make some cookies and I do have some cocoa beans, that is good. So we will get eight cookies and we just drop it into mana. It's a bit expensive, I know. Yeah, we're out. But this should restore all of your hunger bars and give you full saturation. So I'm not gonna eat bread ever again. But now that I'm thinking, how do we improve our situation and improve our mana generation setup? Well, I am using our combustion chamber over here and oil seems to be very efficient. It's much better than coal. But oil is not a renewable resource, so what we need to do is that we need to start making biodiesel. One millibucket of biodiesel gives you 28 kilowatts. How much does oil give you? 7 kilowatts. 2 millibuckets. There's an 8 times difference. It's just that biodiesel is not very cheap, but I think we need to work towards that. Besides, you should remember that in the long run, we're going to need a lot of power. And every single generator from mechanism is also disabled, so yeah, we don't really have that many options. I got hungry and we have a biscuit of totality. Let's see what happens. Yes. <laughs> Amazing. Too bad it's very expensive on mana, but we will fix it, don't you worry. According to the quest book, now that we have access to Inferium farmland, we don't really have to grow crops inside that chamber, we can do it anywhere. So here is an Inferium farmland. I forgot the crop sticks. Now you can't grow any crop. Okay, that is a problem. Doesn't work with IC2. Since our goal is to make biodiesel, I was trying to plan what we should do, and apparently we have to start with steel. You will see why. We do have a metallurgic infuser which will allow us to make steel dust, but we cannot cook it into steel ingots. For that, we're going to need an alloy smelter, which does not have a horrifying recipe. We really should start making a lot of wires. I use them all. This is a horrible day, I'm missing everything, but uh, I guess we can have a furnace here. In the biotechnology section, we are going to get an exoflame. It's nothing super fancy, it just requires a mana and it will make the furnace go a bit faster. And without coal. This is going to be our first advanced circuit. We're missing lapis, which is fine. There's plenty here. So, advanced circuit. There you go. Iron furnace. Is that a quest? Yep. You have to keep it in your inventory, otherwise it's not gonna count. We also need some bricks, so let us make that. So here is my electric furnace, that should also be a quest. And if they let me, where's the alloy furnace? Yeah, there you go. Also, we don't really want to break the machines, so we're going to order a precision wrench. Be precise. Which one is it? Synthetic wrench? Probably. For the moment, we can place you down. And in the bootstrap tech, I think we're going to get something very important, a transformer. Actually, just a converter. If you look at the generator, it's generating us 120 volts, correct? Each EU is going to be 4 RF, so if we have a generator, then a converter is going to be converted to 32 EU. A bit less, but you get the gist. Meaning that the device is not going to explode. So here is a flux generator, I don't really know what it does. But we should be able to convert it into the converter that goes here. It's the opposite way. But it's fine, we have our wrench. Oh, come on. You know, I said all of that, but it would be very funny if it explodes. So here is the other cable and we give you one coal. Are we getting any power? We could have used the battery, I guess. Yeah, we're getting power and nothing exploded. So we have one steel dust and we should be able to smelt it using sand. If this works, we're gonna make more. Yes, it's working. 
Amazing, the first steel ingot. We need like way more. So you go over there, give you some coal and I guess some iron. An enrichment chamber would have been also nice, but yeah, it does need steel. We also don't have that much coal is the thing. But it does accept charcoal and we can improve our saplings. Yeah, they're only 10, 11, 9, etc. <laughs> oh, that's tea. Yeah, the saplings are a bit more garbage. You need coal for the generator, you need coal for steel, you need coal for everything. This is not an amazing amount of steel, but we have 10 ingots. And the steel that we have just made is going to be used in making an RF tools crafter. Do you know why? Good question. In order to make biodiesel, we need three different fluids. One of them is yeast, which is just water and mushrooms. The other one is ethanol, and the best option for that is sugar, because, you know, it gives you 50 millibuckets, and you do not waste that much yeast. And well, in order to make sugar, well, it's easier just to craft it from sugarcane, hence a crafter. Another very important fluid is vegetable oil, which comes from a seed. And unfortunately, we don't have a production of seed, but we can use melons. A slight oversight on my side is that in order to make a crafter tier 1, or any crafter, you're going to need Electrum. Electrum is silver and gold and we haven't found silver yet. Hence, we shall go to the nether. We're just gonna run. So silver can be found between Y level 30 and 60. Oh, we have to go down. Can go down. I should really start making a silk touch pick. Uh, we can craft enchanted books using the pneumatic craft chamber, but uh, maybe next episode. We should tackle one stupid problem at a time. What is this? Lead. I like lead. Okay, so this is Y level 60. We go down just by a bit. Oh, silver. <laughs> I guess let us mine a bit. One thing that I have noticed is that in the nether, you don't get the lava pockets. You do get them at the netherite level, but up here, there's nothing. Which is great. I'm not going to complain. So we should throw away the nether rack. More silver. That is perfect. I'll do some mining and I will meet you back at the base. What is this? Prosperity. Well, I found the piglin. He can be useful. I need pearls. And I do need more gold. Pick it up. Wither Skull Chip. Uh-huh. Why do you have two children here? <laughs> They're taking away my gold. Yeah. Don't make a fuss. Pick up the gold. I'll go try to find some more gold. Just a bit. We have some friends. Alex's mobs. Oh my goodness. How many of them are you? Another one. <laughs> okay. We just do our trades and go home. Another netherite. You're doing good. And since I'm out of gold, you're redundant. Bye-bye. I do have a feeling that now we have everything in order to proceed. The only problem is that we need some sort of a logistic system. Yes, block of quartz. Uh, they were the pillars. Anyways, what I was trying to say is that we are going to use laser IO for item logistics. We're going to need a few of these logic chips. Actually, quite a bit. They're cheap. Let's get a stack. And, you know, just cook it. And that's it. I just have to craft a few components and none of them are super expensive, it seems. Yeah, nothing is expensive. Thank you, Direwolf. You're amazing. But apparently, if you want to make Electrum, that's how you do that. Okay. You just mix the dust and smelt it. Cool. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been a while later, and we do have a few machines. We do have one thermoneumatic processing plant. We do have the Crafter Tier 2, and we also have a Flux Compressor. The Flux Compressor's recipe has been changed in this mod pack, so it's not as expensive as you would think. I mean, we're poor, but at least you don't need the advanced pipes. We also have two extra combustion generators, and I'm still working on laser I.O. Oh, and by the way, since we got ender pearls, we have travel anchors. Because we are going to have our biodiesel set up way over there and it's a very long journey. It doesn't work the whole way. That's the problem. And it did need a lot of iron and, uh, well, at that time I was still processing iron. So maybe I will have one more in the center. Also, the staff of traveling doesn't require any power, but it does have a cooldown. It's a bit irritating. You're going to be 1.5 because that one is 2. Yeah, much easier. Since we also got some blaze essence, I thought what we were going to do is that we were going to use some of our experience. I'm actually getting a ton of experience from claiming the quest, so we might as well use them. Efficiency, growth. Don't give me garbage. Unbreaking efficiency. Why is this one different? You don't really want to give me fortune, right? No. Excavate. Oh, I think you can craft fortune. No, it's fine. I'm not very picky. Moving on to biodiesel, we're going to need one jar full of water. Because we need to have some sort of an infinite water source and I think we should be able to use a sink. They do give it to you as a quest reward, but I cannot find the quest, which is fine. Wait a minute, can you just do this? Yeah, it gets water. Okay, if nothing works, that's what we're going to do. I have made myself a sink and there's an item from Pneumatic Craft called the Transfer Gadget. It's basically a transfer node, so if you put it like so, it should input the water here. Maybe not. Oh yeah, it is. Very slowly. 
That's all I wanted to know. Obviously, the first thing that we need to take care of is going to be mushrooms. I really wanted to have a farm outside, but unfortunately, that's not really going to happen. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to craft some mycelium. You know, we have the essence. And we are going to grow some mushrooms over here. It does need power. I'm aware of that. Aha, uh -huh, so a bit of a problem. Do you see this garden cloche? Um, if you check your own wall, this one is back to front. I broke it, I replaced it, and now it's not getting any water. I don't really know why, but I'm not gonna break anything ever again. But we do have our mushrooms, we have our sugar cane, and we have melons. When you uncraft a melon, you will get 9 slices, and each one of them gives you 1 seed. Yep, so that could be a bit helpful. This is the first time that I'm using laser IO, so I'm not really sure how it works. We can have one of the laser nodes here. We should be able to have one more over there. The eastern side is hooked up to the garden cloche. So we come to the east tab, we shall have an item card, and if we right click, we should be able to put it on extract. This is just for testing purposes, but if we have another item card and we give it a filter for mushrooms, do I have a mushroom? Yes. That should insert it. It's connected, good. Now we just need to connect you to you. Do we see any mushrooms? Okay, it doesn't work diagonally. That is perfectly fine. We shall have a laser connector. We connect you to the connector, the connector to you, and you to nothing. <laughs> Come on, stop. Oh, we are getting the mushrooms. Do I have to see the lasers? Doesn't really matter, but we are getting yeast. I'll go get a bucket. So this guy generally requires heat, but it's processing yeast for us. Yeah, if I put a magma block, it's gonna go faster. No, there is a precise temperature. Yeah, between 30 and 60, okay. We shouldn't heat it up. The laser IO does work diagonally, but if the distance is more than 8 blocks, then yes, you're going to need a connector. But in addition to that, we have an extra thermonumatic processing plant, which is getting sugar, and it's giving us ethanol. For some reason, the temperature is fine, it's 57 degrees outside, and I'm wearing a hazmat suit, I should be burning. Which brings us to another problem, the supply of melons and sugar is a bit disproportionate, so you also have to lock the output on the crafter. You know, otherwise it's just gonna get clogged up. Because essentially, each melon is like 9 seeds. And one sugar cane is just one sugar. Anyways, now we come to the vegetable oil. This one does not require heat, it does require seed and a bit of air pressure. And even though I have made a flux compressor, I'm not really sure how we want to do this. I did try, laser IO doesn't work with power. Or maybe not with these cables. And I am very sorry, this is going to be janky wiring. Actually, there are no wires. It's going to be dire laser. I don't think one combustion generator can power the crafter as well as the garden cloches, so we're going to have one more combustion chamber and then we will have our flux compressor. The flux compressor is going to generate us 20 bars, which is no bueno, because otherwise the tubes are going to explode. Therefore, we are going to have a gauge tube module, and we are going to read a comparator signal out of it. We want to set it to around 4.5 bars, so it should be 9 redstone pieces. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We need 2 more blocks, like so. That should be 9. If that is the case, we should be able to have our safety valve. And yeah, the threshold is 4.9 bars. Uh oh. That's not great. Because by the time the pressure over here is 4.9, this should be like 6. Oh, that is the default pressure. Okay, we're good. Actually, technically speaking, we don't need to do any of this then. Why would you need redstone? You don't really need to have redstone control. You can just have the release module over here. So threshold is going to be 4.9. So if we have the extra thermonumatic processing plant here, that should get the air pressure. We give you the bucket of oil and see how it goes. This one is fast. I think. I'm just going to check if anything explodes. That's it. Well, so far so good. We have not reached the threshold yet, but uh, everything seems to be working fine. We have an extra thermonumatic processing plant, which is making us vegetable oil. And all we need to do is to have a transfer gadget here and here. No. Dude. Be yellow, please. Yes. <laughs> we want it to extract. This is ethanol and this one is vegetable oil. Now what we are going to need is a fluid mixer. So here are three tanks. We can have a turbine blade. And don't tell anyone, I really hate this mechanic. Everything is different. We need some walls. Okay. Hopefully it's the correct one. Can I have a mixer? Thank you. That is the final step. I promise. So if we put you over here, not like that. Didn't explode. Don't you worry. And yes, that is biodiesel. That is something that we can use. As a byproduct, we are also getting glycerol, which is used in making speed upgrades. Or we can just burn it. This is not an amazing rate, but if it goes on like this, I think we would be able to operate like 50 of these combustion chambers. Because each time you're going to get 50 millibuckets, and these guys are going to consume only one. 
And you know, based on the amount of oil that it's consuming, I guess the time is the same. Anyways, the flux compressor is not very efficient because it is going to generate some heat. So what we're going to do is that we're going to have a block of compressed iron. And yes, you might notice that the temperature is increasing. So if we get some heat sinks, it's going to cool down. Yeah, the temperature is dropping. I don't know if we should do that. Maybe it's good that it was inefficient. Anyways, now what we need is some fluid cards for the laser thingies. We want to make the combustion chambers a bit automatic, that's it. So we extract the fluid from the north. The combustion generator is over there, so we should be able to have one more laser node. And we want to insert the fluid into the west side. So now if I break you and place you back, uh, will you get biodiesel? I haven't hooked up the lasers yet, but this should work. So we shall connect these two together and see how it goes. Yes, biodiesel. We're burning biodiesel. We can do the same with the other combustion generator. So I don't know, we connect you two together. Yeah, that works. Once the oil is consumed, we should be fine. And this guy released some pressure, so the system works. I'm happy. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a garbage mana generation set up and we're going to try and improve it. The reason that we are focusing on Botania is that I have been watching other players playing this mod pack and I realized everybody's going with applied energistics and pneumatic craft. Which is perfectly fine, that seems to be one of the routes that we can take in order to generate resources. But I have been checking in the quest book and yes, I bought a lot of flowers. <laughs> As I was saying, I was checking in the quest book and it does seem that we would be able to unlock bees. And bees are going to generate us resources, correct? The only thing that you are going to need is honey, and then you're going to get one more spatial IO storage system. The question is, how would you get honey? Aha, you can get honey by throwing sugar into the elven portal. And therefore, that is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to open up an elven portal, we're going to try and get some bees, and then we're going to generate resources. The gist of it is, we need a ton of mana. That's actually going really fast. And we are keeping up with the power. So unfortunately, I cannot make a Terra Steel ingot today because the problem is that in order to make Terra Steel, you're going to need the Rune of Mana, correct? You know, you do need the Rune of Mana in order to make the Terrestrial Plate. The problem is you need Solar Prism. And Solar Prism is a bit complicated. So I think what we're going to do is that we're going to wrap up the episode for today. And next episode, we will have our Elven Portal. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one. Bye bye.